It's nice to be on CNN. Hello to all your viewers. I resent you calling me a denier. That is a, a word meant to put me down. I'm a skeptic about climate change, and I want to make it darn clear, Mr. Kenny is not a scientist. I am. He's the CEO of the Weather Channel now. I was the founder of the Weather Channel, not the co-founder. And I'm glad you did, because I am addicted to the Weather Channel. I watch a lot I'm of cable news. I'm talking now. Hold on just well, a minute. I'm not done. And CNN has taken a very strong position on global warming that is that it is a consensus. Well, there is no consensus in science. Science isn't a vote. Science is about facts. And if you get down to the hard, cold facts, uh, there's no question about it. Climate change is not happening. There is no significant man-made global warming now. There hasn't been any in the past, and there's no reason to expect any in the future. There's a whole lot of baloney. And uh, yes, it is. it has become a big political point of the Democratic Party and part of their platform. And I regret it's become political instead of scientific. But the science is on my side. I don't think we're going to come to a conclusion about the topic right here. What I do wonder, well, I know though, is when not, you see... Because you the... wouldn't allow it to happen on CNN. But I'm happy well, that I got on the air and I got a chance to talk to your, uh, to your viewers. Hello, everybody. What there I do, is no global warming. What I do wonder is when you see the government, when you see NASA, when you see other institutions say that 97% of climate scientists agree, do you think they're making it up? I, I, what I don't understand is how you well, square that. Well, that's a manipulated that. figure, and let me explain it to you. Uh, this, the uh, government puts out about $2.5 billion directly for climate research every year. It only gives that money to scientists who will produce scientific results that support the global warming hypothesis of the Democrat Party of position. So they don't have any choice. If you're going to get the money, you've got to support their position. Therefore, 97 percent of the scientific reports published support global warming. Why? Because those are the ones the government pays for, and that's where the money is. It's real simple. But that doesn't mean it's right. That doesn't make it true. That only makes it bought and paid for. The money goes in circles. I'm not a scientist. So I'm not going to try to refute you Boy, on that's the facts. The truth. So I'll simply so say that the vast majority... Please stand back from this, from this issue and let the two sides be on the air. There are 31,000 scientists who have signed a petition that says it is, it is not valid, that my position is correct. And we'll keep battling, and uh, we, we will prevail in time, but I don't know if we'll do it in my lifetime. I do hope viewers are Googling the data you're sharing, because I do think it's skewed. I have to say that. I want to well, ask you all, about the weather. No, it's not true, and I, I hope you will uh, go to the websites that present the papers that show that none of this uh, alarmism about ice and heat waves and drought None of it is happening. Is the Weather Channel part of the conspiracy? Well, the Weather Channel has bought into it. As I say it, they've drunk the Kool-Aid. <laughs> but so is all the media. That's no big surprise. Let me 